All right, so in this video, I want to show you how to use IBM SPSS to audit and also modify the information uh, to its uh, correct type. Also, we're going to show uh, how to handle with the missing value in the uh, data sets as well. Okay, so uh, basically, in the previous uh, example, um, I already show how to construct the uh, stream to load the information from the um, Microsoft Excel file right here using the uh, source node, uh, Excel source node right here. And so um, we use the type node right here to briefly um, observe the, the information of the data set as well. Okay, So um, in order to audit the information, we need to add one more node. So go to the output tab right here and um, before doing that, we're going to select this one. So uh, going to be a um, double click to the uh, to the data audit right here. So going to be automatically inserted into the workspace. Um, before before showing the uh, type of uh, the, the um, information uh, read by the uh, aud data audit node, I want to show you the original information uh, um, in the HCL. Okay. Uh, back right here. Yeah, here the original information of the HCL file we want to read into the uh, workspace of IBM uh, SPSS. So basically, this the variables right here. Um, this the name of the variable in the first row right here. Um, the total number of um, total number of record we have right here gonna be a uh, um, the last one gonna be a uh, 507 um, but the first row is the uh, um, the variable name so totally we have a 506 records okay um, some of the information I want to uh, point out right here uh, the first value right here I change it to very large so it's supposed to be a uh, outlier or uh, extreme value in the room variables so IBM SPSS should be able to detect it Okay, another part right here, I delete one of the variables, so it's supposed to be a missing value. So I color in red right here, just empty, uh, empty uh, and uh, uh, it should be a missing value and should be, uh, we're gonna show how to handle this uh, uh, missing value as well. And one of the value right here, I change to the uh, very large, that um, the range of this one pretty large as well. So not sure if this one gonna be detected as a outlier or not. Uh, we're gonna show through the uh, IBM SPSS, okay? So that the uh, three um, key points right here we want to uh, we want to observe it in uh, IBM SPSS. Um, another point right here again, uh, I want to show that the uh, charts uh, variable right here is should be a categorical variable with two levels, zero and one, okay? So you can see right here, zero and one. And another variable, a categorical variable right here also have two levels, 0 and 1. Okay, So we expect that kind of, uh, information type uh, should be correctly read uh, into IBM SPSS. All right, so uh, let's back to the IBM SPSS. So um, we're going to uh, double click in this one and we're going to do run. So uh, you can see right here, uh, all of the uh, variables actually have been read as a continuous. So that's numeric. So it means the uh, variable uh, chart river right here um, have not been, uh, and the uh, other variable right here have not been uh, correctly uh, identified the type. Okay. So we need to adjust that type to its uh, correct type. That's a categorical. Um, also, the room variable right here, we can see um, the total number of record right here is 505. So uh, one less than the other variables because one of the uh, variable, uh, one of the values has been uh, has, uh, has, uh, has missing value, right? So that's that's correct, and we're gonna show how to handle this kind of missing value as well. Okay. Um, back to this one, we can see that. Uh, this one gonna be a uh, the room right here. This one extreme value because it's very large, so it has been uh, detected one hundred. That's an extreme value. Um, we can see that number of records right here five hundred and five. So missing one. Um, and the H right here we have the one of the uh, variables. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be a. Um, uh, 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 outlier that's the uh, that's the value I changed very last one but then uh, 89 something that that's very last so I've been detected 
So um, so the first thing is the thing that the uh, now the uh, the type of the variable charge in a uh, cat math right here have not been uh, correctly identified. So we can need to uh, the first thing we need to change that type to correct one. So in order to change the type of the variable to its correct type, we're gonna go to the type right here. Double click, and then you need to change this right here. Charge, um, categorical. And cut math to categorical as well. Okay, and then we're gonna read. Now you can see one we change this one. You're gonna have the uh, flag. Basically, the flag is mean categorical with two levels. Uh, just no or one zero. So basically, you have the two level of the um, uh, categorical variable zero and one. So that's why I'm gonna uh, change to flag. And similarly, we have the same type right here. So uh, basically, we change the type of the uh, variables to its correct one. That's categorical, categorical. So we uh, click OK, and we back to the audit right here, and uh, we expect it gonna be um, detect the correct type. So you can see right here, the chart gonna change its correct type right here. And now it's gonna be a categorical with two levels, zero and one, and because categorical, so that an uh, compute other parameter because it's not matching uh, for the categorical for the uh, this uh, parameter. We have the unique right here is that the um, unique level of the categorical variable. So we have the two unique uh, levels zero and one. So that's we have number two right here. Similarly for the cat the math uh, variables, we have also uh, two levels zero and one, and a number record right here. Okay, so um. That's gonna show you how to fit and or change the uh, type of the data to its correct type. Okay, that the uh, from numeric to the categorical variable right here. The next step is gonna uh, show how to handle the uh, missing variable right here. Right now, the room um, variable have been uh, have one missing value, so we need to uh, find a way to to fix it. Okay. All right. Um. So the uh, the first uh, the first way to um, handle the missing value is that by uh, removing the records with the missing value. Okay. So in this case, if we have the large uh, uh, data, we have the data set uh, large enough, so we can delete uh, some of the uh, records with the missing value. So that may not uh, uh, affect you the. Uh, to the the uh, uh, way we construct the uh, uh, model later on, so um, let 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 assume that um, yeah five hundred in uh, six records, so that's gonna be a maybe uh, enough, so we can uh, delete some of them. So in order to delete uh, the uh, records with the missing value, we gonna um, add a uh, one node right here. We call a uh, select, so that's gonna be uh, connected to the time node right here. Uh, we're gonna double click right here, so that's gonna be uh, um, insert into the workspace. So um, double click into the select uh, select node and um, the mode the mode we want to choose that the discard. This means we gonna discard the record with the missing value. Okay, the condition. Um, we gonna select the now there. The now this mean a um, we gonna detect all the uh, a missing value or the uh, empty or the now value of those variables. Um, now the variable we gonna insert the um, the field or the uh, variable we want to handle uh, that missing value with the room double click and we're gonna do check that's no problem and we do okay so now it's saying that um, basically it's saying that um, we're gonna discuss or uh, uh, delete all of the uh, records with the uh, now value or the missing value of the room variables and we click okay so in order to check is that um, handle correctly we gonna add one of the output right here to the data audit. So um, double click this one and we run and to see. Okay. So now you can see um, right here all of the um, 
number valid records right here is 505 instead of uh, 506 and 505 okay so it means uh, one of the uh, records with the missing value have been removed from the data set uh, uh, from the uh, from the data and um, uh, you can see you can see that now uh, every every um, this is uh, a uh, complete 100 percent okay so it means uh, the the uh, record with the missing value have been removed well, okay this means um, when the data goes through this node the uh, missing the missing um, the record with the missing value have been removed uh, after um, then the data going out right here have already five right in uh, five record okay so that the, that's the first way how to um, how to handle the missing one however in some uh, scenario if the data set is uh, not large enough so we want to keep that data uh, record and we try to fill the or uh, replace the missing value with some variables um, for example the mean or the max or the uh, average of that variables so um, let, let's see how, how, how can we do that um, so in order to do that we're gonna go into the audit right here um, we're gonna go run and then we're gonna go to quality and then we can see this one gonna have the one missing right here okay so uh, in order to uh, replace the missing value we gonna go with the um, click right here and we gonna um, and that's an impute uh, impu missing uh, specify so um, impute when uh, that's a condition uh, when we have the now values or uh, blind values we're gonna select this one um, we're gonna select different method right here. Uh, we're gonna go with the switch. This means we use the um, function or the um, uh, fix uh, uh, way to uh, replace this value. So uh, assume we're gonna uh, using the mean value of the um, existing value of that uh, variables, and we can replace that uh, missing value by the mean of the remaining uh, value of that variable. So you can see that when you select the mean, you can see that the um, the, the 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 function already calculate what is the mean of that uh, room variable right here. Okay, so that's gonna six point uh, forty uh, uh, four seventy one. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. So um, it's saying that uh, the missing value gonna be replaced by the mean or the average of the uh, remaining value of that variable room right here. Okay. So um, next one we're gonna need to generate the um, super node by generate right here and missing um, and we can see all few the sample size we're gonna take the one hundred uh, percent of that uh, sample or that's the number of record we have. Click OK and um, okay. So we can see right here it's generate a uh, missing value uh, uh, imputation or super node right here. And this one gonna be connect to um, from the type node, and also in order to see is that correctly uh, uh, perform what we expected, we gonna have the audit uh, data audit node connect to this one as well. Okay, so let's see right here. Double click and run, and we gonna show right here. So um, you can see right here. Oh, okay. So now this is the total number of records 506. So it means the record with the missing value have been uh, still uh, kept and um, the, the, the value have been replaced. Okay, so in order to see, um, in order to see is that the, um, the, 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 the missing value have been uh, replaced, we're gonna add one more uh, Note in order to uh, look into the data. That's the table node right here. Okay, double click. So the table node gonna connect to the uh, this one, and we're gonna display the uh, data set in 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 the table for double click, run. So you can see right here. So basically, uh, the missing value, um, the missing value gonna be. Uh, this uh, value right here in uh, record number 17 and um, basically uh, that's gonna have empty right here so in this case in this case I um, the 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 um, uh, super node we generated right here 
already replace the missing value with the average of the remaining variable in this uh, uh, in this uh, column right here okay so uh, you can see that the total number of record is the uh, the same uh, 506 so this missing value have been replaced or impugned by the average of the remaining uh, value of such variables so um so that's just uh, basic information on how to um Audit the data and also change the type of uh, data to its correct uh, type and also how to handle the missing uh, values uh, in some of the record. Uh, so um, so that that uh, conclude this video. Um, the uh, next video we will show how to um, using some graphical plot to explore um, the data and also to see the relationship between the uh, variables and from there we can uh, design the uh, correct uh, data mining model